Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here, back with Mixed Media Guy. Hello. And today we are going to customize our phone cases. Yeah. So quite a while ago I did a video where I painted my old phone case. This was a clear plastic phone case. I did a horrible job of taping it off and I sealed it with the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel Spray, which actually did way better than I was anticipating. So after many times of dropping it and whatnot, it got a couple little holes in it and I actually started to peel the paint off until I stopped myself and realized I should show you guys what it looked like. So I did some of this damage myself, um, but just due to dropping it and stuff, some of the paint scraped off. So for this time, we're going to be sealing these with resin. Mm. Um, we're going to paint these with the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint. And we do have a canvas underneath here to catch the runoff paint so we can also make a really cool painting. Multifunctional artistry. Yeah. So, go ahead and get started. We're going to fill up our bowls. That's And we have regular white and metallic white. Yeah, I'm going to use both, I think, in mine. Yeah. Because I'm feeling adventurous. I'm going to use my favorite color combo, especially with these paints, which is the, uh, yeah. oh ho ho, mm -hmm. took it, the blue and the orange look amazing together. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And then I love this gold also. And we only have, unfortunately, just a tiny bit of purple, so yeah. I'm pretty much going to let Johnny use that. <laughs> Grabby. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow in mine, too. There will be no yellow in mine. Oh, I like it, the yellow. That's fine. Okay, just the you metallic can, white. You can have your yellow. Now, think about with the phone case, only a, the last little bit is going to be what's going to actually end up on your phone. So, if you want purple on your phone, you should put it in now. Oh, good point. Yeah, because we're doing a lot of paint for the canvas. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I told you. It was on the very end of its life. So hopefully I got all the colors in here that I want. Is anyone doing red? Are you doing any red? I did a little red. Oh, you did? Okay. I don't really care about the red. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and paint mine because I'm impatient. I noticed. I am going to, however, set it up on a little cup first so that it's easier to take off. Oh, yeah, that's smart. I should do that, too. Yeah, not this cup, though, because it's stuck together. But <laughs> while you're doing that, I'll get another cup. I would use these little guys. I'm going to put two cups. Oh, wow, you're, like, already filled. Yeah. You go fast. Mom, before you go slow, together. Not, you know, pointing any fingers or anything. Fine, I'll speed it up. Actually, I think I want to use three cups. You do. I'll get you two more. Okay. <laughs> Just for stability. Yeah, but instability is so much more fun. Well, okay. You can be unstable. I'll be stable. Alright. And. There's no right or wrong way. Oh, so obviously I forgot to say. Uh, we taped these off with a frog tape. And I think I did a pretty darn good job. It is impressive. I put a lot of blue in mine because I really like blue. Okay, I think I'm ready. Wow, look at that. Here looks killer. I'm going to put mine up. <laughs> Boy. That's so exciting. That's just something else. Wow. Alright, my turn. Tiger stripes. <laughs> Ooh, tiger. Now don't forget to cover your What? Don't forget to get the rest of it. Or are you going to tilt? tilt? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, you can tilt. I just let you do your own thing. I'm so used to giving instruction. I know, right? 
Not the balls of me. Well, no, you kind of are. Well, debatable, you know. Cool. Well, what'd you do? I do need to tilt a little bit on mine, too. Mainly to get it out of that hole with the tape in it. And also to cover a corner in there. I think that's good, though. Ooh, I like yours. Yeah, me too. Okay. So, let's do this. Can you um, grab my cups? Uh, yeah. And watch your head. Yeah, right. Did I just hit the camera? Mm, I don't think so. Here. Here? Yep, that's good. Oh, I see. And then you can put yours yeah, on there. I feel like mine still has... The corner needs a little work, maybe. You know what? If you move this, then you could see it a lot better. What? <laughs> Don't lie to me. And then your head won't be in the way. Yeah, right. Good point. Everyone okay, got a well, real good look at the back of your head. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> All right. Now. This is just something. We tilt. And I don't get it on the phone cases as I tell you. Yeah, right. I feel like I probably should move the ones in the back. The bottles, I mean. Is that why I do that? Yeah. You want to just kind of... Because I don't want to drip on the phone cases. Yeah, that would be tragic. Right? feeling pretty good that's just special I think it's good yeah I think I agree cool okay so um, let's do a quick close-up on these and then we're gonna come back when they're dry and we're gonna do the resin. resin. All right, so here's Johnny's phone cover, which I think I like better than mine. Um, Sorry. <laughs> you should be. But we have the same phone cover, so maybe I'll just steal it. Just kidding. Not totally kidding. Okay, here's mine. <laughs> I like it. It just came out a lot more linear than I was anticipating, but I do like lines. And here is our Canvas is so starting in the bottom right hand corner. We got some pretty darn cool shapes in here. Yeah. And colors. Some of these colors, I'm like, how did they even get in there? Right? Of course, my side looks kind of peacockish, as always. <laughs> okay. I love this part. Yeah. So. We're gonna go ahead and let these dry, like I said, and then we'll come back and we'll do our resin. All right, guys, so we're back. Our cases are completely dry. We are going to actually take the tape off at this stage and then retape before we do the resin. So we're gonna go ahead and just do that and then we'll be right back. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys, overall the tape did a really good job of keeping the paint out, but there still is a little bit that got on there. I'm not gonna worry about it because we're not sealing any of that, so that'll just kind of come off on its own eventually, or we'll be able to just scrape it off after we seal it. But once again, I'm just gonna go ahead and re-tape all the parts that I don't want resin on, and we're gonna just be putting a really thin layer also, I'm a little sad because I somehow totally missed this corner, <laughs> mm -hmm. but that's okay. All right, we'll be back. Still looks good. Yeah. All right, so we have re-taped everything, and just in case anyone's wondering why we took the tape off in the first place just to put it back on, 
because it's much easier to pull them off layer by layer than to try to cleanly pull off the tape when there's both resin and paint on there. That's at least the thought process. All right. Now I have my Mixed Media Girl sticker, which I'm gonna add to that to more customize the case. And Johnny has his logo, which we printed out on our fancy silhouette. Brand spanking new logo. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and throw these on here and then add our resin. Go ahead, do you know how? Not entirely. Okay. Mine's pretty easy. I'm done. Yeah, mine's the whole thing. We had to make this thing. Yeah, so this is transfer tape. So where would you like it? Yeah, about there. All right. So put it down, and then we're just gonna make sure that this sticks. Hey, I'm learning. And then carefully pull it up. That looks killer. Heck yeah. And that's all there is to it. Oh yeah. And this can actually be reused. What? Yeah. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Exactly. All right. So the resin that we're using is the Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. Huh. I've already mixed it up and I put just a smidge of the Diamond Dust Powder in there as well, which will give it a little sparkle. Sparkly. And we're going to just put the thinnest layer possible on here. I'm going to just throw some gloves on. Because we don't want to make it difficult to remove that tape later. So what I recommend, babe, is I'm just going to put literally like a tiny bit on. And spread it. And then, yeah, and just take your finger and just carefully spread it. We're putting just a really thin layer this art coat is great because it has amazing UV protection. Mm -hmm. Love our bros at Stone Coat. Mm -hmm. And all materials will be in the description. I'm going to put just a little bit more on here. I may mean, need a little more as well. Can you just dribble me? Okay. More like in that area, but whatever. That works too. <laughs> yeah, so just make sure you do get around Corner, the sides. sides, yeah, and try not to get it on the tape as much as possible. Obviously, oh. you're going to get a little bit on there, but that's okay. okay. We just want to make it as easy as to possible to take up. the tape off when it's yeah. time. And make sure you cover your logo good. That can have a nice thick layer on it. And also make sure that like this goes in a little bit, so make mm -hmm. sure you get on the inside of it too, mm -hmm. to hold that paint in there. Yeah. Okay, good. I think I'm about done. I'm pretty, I'm pretty close there too. I think. I'm gonna just grab a torch. Let's see if this one works. Quickly torch, and that's it. So we'll come back. Um, I'm, I'm going to let these dry fully. Normally when you tape, you want to peel it off before the resin is fully dry, but we put such a thin layer and it would be really difficult to take the tape off while it's still wet without damaging it. So I think we'll just leave it. Let's see how yours looks. You definitely put more than I did. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the diamond dust was a nice touch. Yeah, so the diamond just adds like a little sparkle. Yeah, it's a little, it's subtle. Yeah, so there's Johnny's. Here's mine. Cool. And yeah. then we'll be back when they're all dry. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back. Yeah. Our phone cases are all dry. So we're going to go ahead and remove the tape. Sorry. Um, and if we have any issues, we'll just use the uh, X-Acto knife. But, yeah, we'll remove the tape and we'll be right back. Alrighty. We did our best. Um, I think these look pretty awesome. Yeah. It's definitely not perfect. Like, if you see the, the sides a little bit, a little resin got under there, a little bit of paint. So, but overall... 
gorgeous. I definitely think Johnny's wins. <laughs> Love the logo too. It's my favorite. Thanks to my, my wifey for getting that logo done up for me. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Acrylic pour on cases with resin. I think these will be super durable. I'll probably do an update in, you know, six months or so on how did it last. Yeah. Uh, but I'm very happy with it. And yeah. I love that we can customize our own cases however we want. Heck yeah. So also just as another quick note, um, Johnny does have his own YouTube channel. So I'll put a link for that in the description. Make sure you check it out. And he's also about to release a new album and has pre-orders available for that album. So link for that will also be in the description. Please support awesome artists. It's also my first solo album in eight years, and I am producing the whole thing myself. I'm super excited. There you go. Yeah. So that's why we got him this new logo and everything, and I'm designing the album cover. It'll be awesome. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.